जय स्वामी नारायण फ्रेंड्स यू हैव पास द नाइन्थ स्टैंडर्ड एंड एंटर द टेंथ स्टैंडर्ड बोर्ड सो फर्स्ट वी हार्टली कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन टू ऑल ऑफ यू स्टूडेंट टूडे इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी डिस्कस द मैथ सब्जेक्ट and total chapter in 10th standard mathematics textbook and some other discuss here we write the total chapter in 10th standard gujarat board 15 total chapter chapter number 1 it is called real number first chapter is real number you have already studied in lower standard real number natural number integer discuss this one second chapter polynomial you also studied in 9th standard now in detail in 10th standard this three chapter second one polynomial third one linear equation in two variable linear equation in two variable and fourth one quadratic equation this three chapter you have already studied in nine standard right okay now fifth chapter is arithmetic progression this new topic arithmetic progression it is your new topic right sixth chapter start here geometry sixth chapter start here geometry sixth chapter is triangle here include theorems problem sums and geometric sums also seventh chapter coordinate geometry graph you have studied ninth standard right graph okay eight and ninth chapter your completely new topic trigonometric which one trigonometric right so is the basic of the higher standard 11 12 science this chapter is also basic of the higher standard 11 12 science and this two chapter is also basic 10 and 12 chapter are circle and areas related to circle so these two chapter are topic circle chapter clear 11th chapter is construction draw the figure in maths it is called construction we draw the ninth standard also and here again 10th standard construction 13th chapter surface area and volume you also studied in 9th standard clear 14th chapter statistic you also studied statistic also in a chapter in this chapter we discuss mean median and mode in and its formula and its sum and 15th chapter you all studied 9th standard probability now discuss again this one is it clear okay now in in a board here we write the some sum factorization we repeat the some example and we repeat the factorization method then we start one of the chapter second chapter polynomial third chapter linear equation into variable and fourth chapter quadratic equation look here first one x square plus 7x plus 21 is all are the eighth standard ninth standard you right in this one <coughs> first sum x square plus 7x plus 28 here now factorize here 28 What's the possible of the factor twenty eight? One into twenty eight, two into fourteen, 
एंड सेवन फोर जा फोर्टी पॉसिबल फैक्टर ऑफ द ट्वेंटी एट ट्वेंटी एट वन जा फोर्टीन टू जा थ्री इज नॉट डिविजिबल बाय ट्वेंटी एट सेवन फोर जा फाइव इज नॉट डिविजिबल सिक्स इज नॉट डिविजिबल सेवन इज आल्सो डिविजिबल एट इज नॉट पॉसिबल डिविजिबल नाइन इज नॉट पॉसिबल टेन इज नॉट पॉसिबल राइट ओके इट इज अ पॉसिबल फैक्टर ऑफ द ट्वेंटी एट क्लियर ओके लिसन केयरफुली हियर दिस इज योर फर्स्ट टर्म दिस इज योर सेकेंड और मिडल टर्म एंड दिस इज योर थर्ड टर्म और लास्ट टर्म now factorize last term here here last term is positive last term is positive so find here sum of this two number sum of this two number is middle term sum of this two number is middle term 1 28 29 Here is given seven, so it is not possible. Two plus fourteen sixteen, so it is not possible. Seven plus four eleven is not possible. So here middle term is not satisfied of this factor. So, so this one is wrong sum. Clear? Okay. So our question is. x square plus eleven x plus twenty eight, right? X square plus eleven x plus twenty eight. Now factorize seven plus four equal to eleven. Otherwise, you can x square plus sixteen x plus twenty eight. So fourteen plus two sixteen also possible, right? X square. Plus twenty nine x plus twenty eight is also possible because twenty eight plus one twenty nine is that clear? Okay. Now this one solve by this x square first and last term as it is. Now splitting middle term. Sum of these two number is eleven seven and four. So plus seven x plus four x. If last term is positive. Then we take sum of these two factor, all the way sum of these two number, right? And same sign of these two number, same sign. Both are positive, otherwise both are negative. Second one sum. Solve by the solve this sum. First we give another example: x square minus eleven x plus twenty eight, right? So here x square and plus twenty eight as it is. So here minus seven x and minus four x. Look here, splitting the middle term minus seven minus four minus eleven. Clear? Okay. Because here minus seven into minus four answer positive. Here also seven into four answer positive. Is that clear? Okay. Now draw the underlined two two term. First two term common x. So here x square x is the common. So remaining term x plus seven. Here x common. So here only seven. Here x square x common only x, right? In between we write here same bracket x plus seven again. Same bracket in between space. So here this completed x common x plus seven. Now here plus sign. If here plus, then we write here plus. Okay. Now in two term four x plus twenty eight x in the bracket. So four is common. Check here four into x four x four into seven twenty eight. Right. Again here, again here. Draw the line to two term, right? So first of all, x common. So in bracket x minus seven. Another bracket same x minus seven. Same here x minus seven, x minus seven, x plus seven, x plus seven. Same bracket are always compulsory, right? Now here minus sign. So here we write minus. 
here minus sign so here minus 4x x common so write 4 common check here 4 into x 4x minus minus plus because open the bracket so 4 7s are 28 clear now x plus 7 common x plus 7 common so remaining term x plus 4 so in this question, your answer is x plus 7, x plus 4. Otherwise, you can write first bracket x plus 4, then we write x plus 7. Okay? Here, x minus 7 common, so remaining bracket x minus 4. Is that clear? Here also x minus 4 first and x minus 7 second. Okay? Our answer is confirmed 100% right. If last term is positive, if last term is positive, then same sign in this two bracket. Both are plus, otherwise both are minus. Clear? Okay, because here last term is positive. Is that clear? Okay. Now discuss this one. Now third sum. Now third sum. Okay. This one cancel. Now x square plus 12x minus 28. x square plus 12x minus 28. And x square minus 12x minus 28. x square plus 12x minus 28. x square minus 12x minus 28. 28 the factor here. 28 ones are 14 twos and 7 fours are. Here in both the sum, last term is negative. Look here. Last term is negative. So, we subtract the two factors. Subtract the two numbers are 12. Right? So, 28 minus 1, not possible. 7 minus 4, not possible. 14 minus 2, 12 possible. So, here, x square n minus 28 as it is. x square n minus 28 as it is. Right? Here middle term is positive. Our factor is this one. Here middle term is positive. Here middle term is negative. So we give the middle term sign is the bigger number. We give the middle term sign is bigger number. Here we write middle term is positive. So positive sign give the 40. Here negative sign Middle term of the negative sign, so we give the 14 is the negative sign, right? And another factor is opposite sign. When last term is negative, with the opposite sign of the two number, okay? So here, plus 14x minus 2x. 14 minus 2 plus 12, right? Then same method. Only first step is different. Then second, third step, same. Here middle term is negative. So minus 14x plus 2x. So minus 14 plus 2. Answer is minus 12. So here our factor is 14 into minus 2. Right? And here our factor is minus 14 into 2. Answer is always minus 28. Multiply by this two number. Minus 28 minus 28. Here last term is minus 28. But here middle term is positive. So bigger number is positive. Here middle term is negative. So bigger number is negative. Right? And another number is positive. Okay. Now common. Underline 2 to term. X common. X plus 14. Right here. X plus 14. So here negative sign. So negative sign. 2x, x is in the bracket, so 2 is outside the bracket. Right? Uh, 25, 2 into x, 2x. Right? 2 into 14, 28. My open the bracket, so both the terms sign change. Now x plus 14 common. So remaining term, bracket x minus 2. x plus 14 common, so here x minus 2. Okay? Here x common, x minus 14. Now again, x minus 14. Here plus sign, so plus sign. 2x, x is a bracket, 2 is outside the bracket. Now x minus 14 common, remaining x plus 2. Is that clear? 
if last term is negative so sign of the two bracket are always different last term is negative sign of the two bracket are always different and the sign of the middle term is always giving the bigger number okay clear we give the four example again repeat the same question for some for example repeat the four sum but minor changes of the question okay right same question but a twist the question question same but minor changes 4x square plus 29x plus 7 in last discussion four sum one to four sum each question coefficient of x square is always one this type of question x square plus 11x plus 28 right here one so we factor only this number only this one because 28 ones are 28 right in this four sum we write the coefficient of x square we write the coefficient of x square so first we multiply by this two four sevens are 28 then factorize 28 question same seven fours are 28 four sevens are 28 four sevens are 28 so factor of 28 is this one right not more than three factor okay now here again repeat last term is positive so sum of these two number is middle term okay sum of these two number 28 plus 1 29 here yeah. so here this one factor 4x square plus 7 28x plus 1x right okay again 7 for the 28 factor by 28 this one okay sum of this sum of middle term is 16 28 plus 1 29 not possible 14 plus 2 16 okay so 7x square first and last term are always as it is splitting the middle term 14x plus 2x okay now solve by uh, solve this true sum now here 4 common because 4 is the factor of 28 right so 4x common which one 4x so here 4 common x in a x square x common so only x here 28 table 4 7 are 28 and x common so same bracket here x plus 7 here plus sign so here plus 1x is here 1 1 is the common right so 1, one into x 1 x 1 into 7 7 so your answer is x plus 7 and 4x plus 1 clear okay again this one 7x square 14x plus 2x plus 4 7 is a factor of 14 right 7x common so here x plus 2 same bracket here x plus 2 here plus sign so plus in a 2x x is in the bracket 2 is the outside the number bracket so answer is x plus 2 and 7x plus 2 you can write also first one then second one okay again here 4 7s are 28 4 7s are 28 possible factor is here but here last term is negative clear so subtract of this two number is middle term 28 minus 1, 27, right? So, 4x square, we are giving the sub concept of this uh, method. Here, 27 is the positive. We give the 28 plus 28 into 1. Bigger number is 28. So, we are giving the plus sign of the bigger number, right? So, we write here 28x minus 1x. 28 minus 1, 27. So, here our factor is 28 into minus 1. Okay. Now, 4x common. x plus 7. Again here, x plus 7. So, minus 1 is the common. Right. Verify minus 1 into x minus 1. Minus 1x. Minus 1 into 7. Minus 7. Okay. Now, x plus 7 common. 
सो सेकेंड ब्रैकेट इज फोर एक्स माइनस वन ओके अगेन ट्वेंटी एट नाउ वेरीफाइड ट्वेंटी एट माइनस वन नॉट पॉसिबल फोर्टीन माइनस टू नॉट पॉसिबल सेवन माइनस फोर थ्री पॉसिबल राइट सो फोर एक्स स्क्वे माइनस सेवन नाउ वी आर बिगर नंबर इज सेवन सो वी आर गिविंग द नेगेटिव साइन बिकॉज यूर मिडल टर्म नेगेटिव सो नेगेटिव साइन इज द बिगर नंबर सो माइनस सेवन एक्स प्लस फोर एक्स इफ लास्ट टर्म इज नेगेटिव सो ऑपोजिट साइन ऑफ दट दिस टू नंबर ओके नाउ फोर एंड सेवन नो वन कॉमन नंबर ओके सो ओनली एक्स इज कॉमन ओनली वेरिएबल एक्स कॉमन सो हियर फोर एक्स फोर एज इट इज इन एक्स स्क्वेर एक्स कॉमन फोर एक्स माइनस सेवन सो हियर ऑल्सो फोर एक्स माइनस सेवन सो हियर फोर एक्स नो वन कॉमन नंबर सो वी राइट ओवर ओनली प्लस वन प्लस साइन एज इट इज बट नो फोर फोर इज द फैक्टर फोर इंटू वन एंड सेवन इज द फैक्टर सेवन इंटू वन सो वन इज द कॉमन ओके फोर एक्स माइनस सेवन कॉमन ओके सो एक्स प्लस वन हियर लास्ट टर्म इज पॉजिटिव इन दिस टू सम सेम साइन ऑफ दिस आंसर ऑफ दिस टू ब्रैकेट हियर लास्ट टर्म इज नेगेटिव सो ऑपोजिट साइन ऑफ दिस टू ब्रैकेट ऑन द लास्ट आंसर राइट ओके थैंक यू वेरी मच